What is going on guys, this is Mad Mind back with another video. In today's video, we actually have a Steelers theme team video. I'm uh, moving towards that. Just Let's just build the Steelers theme team, keep it for the rest of the year. It'll continue to get better, hopefully. Um, but we can check it out. There's only like two real fillers uh, we'll go over, but we'll start on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, I'll say right now, um, I do not have Michael Vick. Um, I just don't want to spend, I don't enjoy using Michael Vick, and I don't want to spend the coins on Michael Vick right now. Um, so, I don't have Vick right now. I would assume Ben Roethlisberger will hopefully get a card. Now, obviously, he hasn't had a great year, but he always gets like a team of the week card or something. Um, so, hopefully, he maybe gets a card at some point. If not, maybe Terry Bradshaw finally enters the game as a legend. Maybe Cordero Stewart somehow gets a card. I don't know somebody else but i don't want to use vic if i have to i and will end up using vic but we just have been here i'll probably use Derek carr when i'm playing uh because he's nat and whatnot but we have big ben here um running backs do staley uh on the steelers theme team receiving back uh we talked about him a lot earlier in the year team diamond um they made him a receiving back they also dropped his weight by 20 pounds um but 94 speed 94 excels a running back is still Really, really good. He also has great carrying. Really good COD truck, brake tackle, everything. Very good card. Now, obviously, I am waiting on that Najee card. Najee will be my starter. I'm not getting the Najee's rookie premiere because, first of all, he does deserve an upgrade, and I do expect to see one for him soon. Um, but, yeah, I'm not going to spend the 150 k or whatever for his rookie premiere when it's going to get outdated in the next month or so. So we just have his rookie premiere and then Kalen Balaj as well. Uh, wide receivers, Chase Claypool. We have deep route specialists, two of them. So it's plus two speed on receivers, as well as the uh, in the zone for two, plus two speed on defensive backs. So Chase Claypool, 96 speed, 93 excel at 6'4". Um, really, really good card. I used this card for a while earlier in the year. I really like it. Um, great catching stats, obviously good jumping. Uh, he's just at wide receiver one for right now because he's the highest overall. At wide receiver two, we have Emmanuel Sanders. Uh, I won't go over his stats. He's not great. He's kind of slow. Wide receiver three, again, I could go with Devin Hester. I put Deontay Johnson in in the hopes that he gets a card because guess what? He's the best wide receiver on the Steelers right now, the best pass catcher. He has 89 speed on this card already, which isn't bad. He needs a card, though. He deserves a card. Hopefully, I'm praying to God he gets a Thursday LTD. Um, I will easily go out and spend for that. But he does need a card now, if not very soon. Um, I don't know. I understand Rising Star Chase Claypool, but Deontay needs a card. Uh, and then, again, James Washington and Ray Ray McLeod. Um, I don't expect either of them to get an upgrade. Juju, we c I could see Juju getting an upgrade, but he's hurt. So maybe some weird upgrade or whatnot. Um, <clears throat> offensive line. Only really bad part is the left tackle, but we have a great left guard. Marquise Pouncey came out two days ago. Um, had to pick him up, you know, Ben to Pouncey. You know, one of the best centers in Steelers history. Alan Faneca, Faneca, however you say it. Great left guard. Uh, times three count on him. Uh, DeCastro and Beecham, uh, not bad either. Just the left tackle. Might put a filler there um, just because it's really rough. Same thing with tight end Eric Ebron, Pratt, Pat Fryermuth. Um, Eric Ebron, 478 overall. I think he's actually not super slow. 84 speed, so not great. But not terrible at the same time. Uh, we might be getting a Kyle Pitts 88 overall tomorrow. Or 89 if the overalls go up. In the event that that does happen, I'll just put him as a filler at my number one tight end because there isn't another tight end right now. Hopefully we get a Heath Miller card. I would love that. Even though he's super slow, it's Heath Miller. I'm a huge fan of Heath Miller. Uh, but moving over to the defense, which I think is the more exciting part of the ball, and this is where some fillers come in. So we have Marshall and Lattimore at corner. That one, that's our first filler. Our second filler is uh, John Lynch. Even though he does get Steelers cam, I think it's fair to use him because he's the times three. So we have John Lynch. And then stay out again with Steelers cam. I think that's fine. I don't use middle linebackers anyways. I forgot to add Joey Porter's card in before I did this. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Come on. There we go. You know, when the Xbox is on for five hours straight and it literally takes an hour and a half just to load anything. Yeah, but Joey Porter. Um, 
I am more of a James Harrison fan because Joey Porter kind of, I think Joe, the f third year I really started following football, like when I was five to seven ish is when Joey Porter got traded. I think when I was seven or eight. So I wasn't super big into it. So I really was more of a James Harrison fan, but this card is obviously phenomenal. Insanely fast, good strength, good tackle, good block, shot, good power move, decent finesse move. Very, very good card. Um, but yeah, I am a James Harrison fan. I hope he gets a card. I know he doesn't like to do a lot of stuff like that. A lot of deals and whatnot. But he did get a card last year, so I'm praying he gets a card this year. Um, Robert Spillane, Devin Bush, Buddy Johnson. Uh, Joe Schobert needs a card. He's been playing. I think Joe Schobert's the best Steelers middle linebacker right now. He's a great coverage linebacker. Um, yes, he gives up plays. Obviously, linebackers can't cover everybody. But I think he's one of the best pass coverage linebackers in the NFL right now. He's like the leading the team in tackles, other than Cameron Hayward and TJ Watt, of course. I think they're top three. I think Schobert deserves a very good card, though. But Spillane, Bush, Buddy Johnson. We have TJ Watt over at right outside linebacker, too. Um, he's a 90 overall at left outside linebacker. He's going to get a promo card soon because he's had two plus, two, two plus ones from Team of the Week. And... The only reason they're not giving him the master, even though it is, they he deserves it, is because they have a card for him. I would assume this Friday, if not something else. I I hope it's not a Thursday LTD. One, because of the price. Two, because Deontay needs a card. And then Bud Dupree over here. Um, I really am missing Bud Dupree this year. Oh, and Kevin Green. I didn't talk about him. But Bud Dupree, I am missing him on the Steelers defensive line. I don't care if Alex Highsmith has stepped it up. I am missing Bud Dupree right now. We have Minka right here. Minka, and I've said this before, I think he's probably one of the best budget free safeties in the entire game. I literally bought him for 40k, and uh, he's 91 speed. With strat cards, 93 speed on the Steelers theme team. Breaks the 90 zone with the strategy cards. Um, just, again, not the best card. He's still like a low overall, but very good card. Um, and then behind him, I have Cam Chancellor, which again, you could say is another filler. Um, but he does get Steelers Kim. Everybody has them on all their theme teams. Um, and then Terrell Edmonds over here, who I wouldn't say deserves an upgrade, but I hope he gets one. Uh, we also have Joe Hayden and Mike Hilton. Joe Hayden is usable. Milk. Mike Hilton's really slow. <coughs> and then the defensive line, <coughs> Cam Hayward has a 93 overall team of the week. Currently is going for 700,000 coins. I'm not going to spend 700,000 coins on a right end who has, like, not even 80 speed. Uh, he'll have 72 speed. No thank you. Uh, this card is just fine. Until he gets a redux, this is fine. I'm putting at my defensive tackle. He still breaks block shit and power move. Um, <clears throat> strength tackling is great. But I'm not going to go and spend on that ridiculous card. Uh, left end as well, Stefan it. He has a new card. I'm going to do challenges to get his nat card. I just... I just threw this team together. I didn't want to pay for the card or whatever, so I'll do that in the next day. <clears throat> Trevon Hargrave was on the Steelers last year. Probably one of the biggest mistakes, not re-signing him uh, or trading him because he's going off on the Eagles, especially with all the D-line issues we've had. Tyson Alualu, Alu Alu, sorry, he's, I think, out for the season. Unfort he is. Again, this is the second year he's battled injuries. I think it may be time to part ways with him. Um, <clears throat> Malvin Ingram, I didn't power him up all the way like I did with some other guys. I'm glad he's on the team. He's great, uh, really great on the field. Um, so he's just there. Chris Wormley, I don't know where Alex Highsmith's card is. I was looking for it. I just couldn't find it, so I didn't throw him in here. Special teams, we do have Presley Harvin. Uh, we just have Matthew Wright as our kicker, though. We are 55 out of 50 Steelers. We have Reek as our returner. I always do this because stamina issues. <clears throat> so Reek's our returner. Um, Deuce. I have Claypool right now at slot. I'll move. I'll change that eventually. Then I have two guys hidden back here, Diablo and Jamal Adams. I run like a five safety set, so I need them. You know, with John Lynch, Cam Chancellor, um, Minka, and then Jamal and Diablo. Diablo is my user. Uh, our D line will look like this uh, for now. Obviously, hoping again that we get a T.J. Watt card. He'll probably replace Kevin Green. Um, and then Mike Kelton in the slot for right now. Strategy cards, like I said, 
in the zone, defensive backs and deep route specialist offense, and then Steelers, unis, and whatnot. But yeah, uh, Steelers theme team, this is what I'm going to be rocking with for probably a very long time just because um, I don't play the game a whole lot. You guys know I do more pack openings, coin making methods, whatnot, and I just don't play all that much. So if I'm not playing, I don't need the best team possible. Just stack them coins for golden tickets and whatnot um, later on in the year. And again, at some point in the year, we're going to get more team diamonds and whatnot. So there's just going to be more spaces opening up four other fillers and we already have five extra spaces we could use technically we have i mean technically we have one two three uh i think three right now so we have eight total that we could use we could get a new quarterback a new fullback a better tight end um, and then we can remove five of our players and get an even better team obviously left tackle is one of them so it's like the team's in not in a terrible spot. Again, for this early in the year, you could say, oh, like this isn't that bad. But at the same time, you could say like, well, compared to the Raiders and compared to all the other teams, yeah, they're pretty terrible. They're not the worst, but again, like pretty rough. It's always like that with the Steelers theme team. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.